Hey, this is Jules, your instructor for this course on Natural Environment Concept Art in Blender. This course is a two-parter, so you're gonna see both concept pieces here at the start. And uh, for the first part, the whole process is kind of broken down into chunks with some valuable tips. And the second part is gonna be a fully narrated time-lapse of that second piece. In the course, you're gonna learn how to plan a piece and collect references for it, how to set up Blender, create landscapes in order to kind of kit bash them together, how to collect assets in one big library file to use later in concept creation, how to block out scenes and light them, and uh, last of all, how to render it out and use matte painting techniques in Photoshop to refine your concept. So all of this is mostly process theory. And uh, while we're gonna be using World Creator for a lot of the environment creation, that is not a necessity. You can use any world building software or even just assets from online. This course is mainly tailored towards um, industry newbies and professionals uh, and intermediate hobbyists. So if you're already a concept artist or you're in the process of learning concept art, this is right for you. If you've never touched Blender, then uh, this is going to be a bit too advanced. You do already need to know some modeling and navigation basics in Blender. This course is roughly four and a half hours long, and all of that is narrative. Before you dive into the course, you should have already installed Blender. And um, if you're going to be creating any landscapes from scratch, then you should either have a license for World Creator or install any of the free landscape creation kits like Gaia. You're also going to need a somewhat beefy PC to uh, follow along precisely because we're going to be using cycles to render and um, that's just rather demanding on hardware. I am a professional environment concept artist and I've been mostly working for games and film not for very long but I've had the chance to work on a bunch of different projects both as an artist and an art director. So. The approach I'm taking for this course is kind of taking into account the entire pipeline and seeing how you can kind of slot yourself into it. So it is oriented towards a professional workflow. That said, uh, wherever you work, you're probably going to find a bunch of valuable tips here. So I'll be happy to have you on board and I hope you'll enjoy this course.